So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Um, now, so the Ravens are trading fifth round pick from this year, 2021, to the New England Patriots for a seventh round pick in 2022 and a fifth round pick in 2023. Because I, I know a lot of people were tripping because I, I put on Twitter that I did not like this trade at all. Did not like it. Now, I know a lot of people are like, oh, man, but hey, we don't even know the compensation yet. Well, now we know the compensation, and I still don't like the trade. Let me tell you why. I I know we had, let's go through the cornerback depth. I know we got Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, Tavon Young, Jimmy Smith. And after this trade, it's looking like Anthony Averett, Chris Westry, Nigel Warrior, Brandon Stevens could come in there and play some corner slash safety or whatnot. Or Darius Washington, he could come in and play some corner slash safety and whatnot. So the depth is there, right? It is. It certainly is. But if you've been a Ravens fan for longer than two years, even longer than one year, but longer than two years, then you know it, it's happened every single year. Let me know if I'm wrong. But we know every single year. Todos los años. I think that's how you say year in Spanish. But every single year, that secondary depth gets tested. It gets tested every single year. So I know that, that I know we can't keep everybody. Trust me, I get that. Trust me, I get that. And I'm not over exaggerating on a fifth round pick cornerback that wasn't going to get much playing time with the Ravens this year anyway unless it came because of injury but my thing and shout out to my guy Ham because he put the he put the spin on me for he put this spin the, the, the spin on this thing the right way for me because I was just thinking about that right here right now I was just thinking about this year only that's the only thing that was on my mind the Ravens and 2020 the 2021 Ravens but my guy Ham made such a great point, and I was like, oh, wow. The fact that Jimmy Smith, most likely after this year, that's probably going to be a wrap. He's probably not going to be back next year. But after, after this year, he's most 9.9 .9 times out of 10, he's probably going to either retire. He's probably going to retire. But then on top of that, Tay Tay, Tavon Young, this is most likely going to be his last year with the Ravens. Most likely, it's not set in stone, but most likely. And then even with Marcus Peters, it's a lot. A lot has been talked about with Marcus Peters as far as how long he'll remain with the Ravens, what's going to happen, what's going to go down. But even leaving Marcus Peters out of this, you with, and again, I, I know what our depth is right now, but right now you have, well, you had, because he's a Patriot now. And shout out to Sean Wade. Congrats. I hope he does well on the Patriots. I hope he does a, a great, phenomenal job. But right now, you, you, you had the opportunity, and I know he had been struggling in camp a little bit, but he also, like when he was out there on the field, I know the whole PFF grade, it, it was what it was. I think they said that he allowed a 0, 0. He whatever. I think he allowed like a 0, 0.0 pass rating or something. But with PFF, with PFF, they are so up and down. I'm not even worried about that. Well, shout out to Sean Wade, but I'm, I'm not worried about the whole PFF thing. My thing now also, again, like my guy said, Ham, it's about the future. It's about the future. And, you know, Ravens, they like, they like keeping their, they, their pockets is tight. They like saving their money. They don't like spending it all like that. Well, it, actually, on defense, they do sometimes. But this move, it, it more so bothers me about the future, too. But really about, really about now has got me the most hot because, again, every single year, every single year, and I, I know you, you you can't keep everybody. You can't keep every single cornerback that you got. You cannot do that. But every single year, without fail, the secondary depth always gets tested. And even though they're trading Sean Wade, yeah, they got a lot of depth. They got a lot of depth on the secondary. But we, we've seen, we've seen time and time again, time and time again, it always gets tested. And Sean Wade is known to be more of a, an inside cornerback, like a slot cornerback. He can play outside too, but he was known to be more of a slot cornerback. With this, most likely, again, it's not set in stone. So I can't say that it's factual, but most likely it's getting ready to be Tavon's last year. Why not have a plan in place already? Why not? I mean, it makes sense. 
Jimmy Smith probably going to be out of there after this year. Why not try to, and, and again, Ravens are always planning for the future. They always building for the future. And yeah, they got a seventh round pick that they can use next year. They got a fifth round pick that they can use in two years. Well, that's, that's cool. So you get back. Did you get back more than what you gave up? Technically, yes. Long term, yes. Short term, um, I guess too, because you got a seventh pick this year and a fifth next year. So I guess you put the average together. This is a six round pick. But anyway, um, but yeah, man, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, I'm I'm not oh I'm not one of the Ravens fans that's gonna agree with every single move that they make and feel like oh man Ravens can do no wrong in my eyes. No, y'all already know that. Y'all already know that. And if you like this move, that's fine. I got nothing against you. If you don't like this move, that's fine. I got nothing against you. Well, I'm right there with you. But I just had to let y'all know why I don't like it. Why I'm not a fan of the move. Because um, I'm really not. The fact that he's going to the Patriots, got no problem with that. I, I mean, I really, wherever he was going to go, fine. I hope he goes there and balls out, man. I hope he goes out there and just kills it, man. I hope he goes out there and goes off. Goes off, man. I hope he does his thing out there in New England. And that's that's a good... At least we know... One of the good things about the trade is that at least we know he's not going to some garbage organization. At least we know he's not going to some garbage team who, who just does stuff the wrong way. Well, <laughs> they don't do things the wrong way anymore. But at least we know he'll be in good hands. He'll be on a good team that they know how to make it happen. They still got to figure out their little post-Tom Brady stuff or whatnot. Cam Newton will hold it down right now, though. And then whenever Mac Jones comes on, we'll see how it goes. So at least we know that. So I'm, I'm very happy for him about that. And, and one thing that I'm happy for him, too, I'm happy that he's getting his opportunity now. He's going to get more of an opportunity than he would have got with the Ravens, obviously, because they're trading him now. I, excuse me. I really thought that it was going to end up being uh, Anthony Averitt. And I, I didn't want them to trade him either. Y'all know me. Oh, I want to keep all the, I wanted to keep all the cornerbacks, all of them. And again, I know some of you. Oh man, ain't Raven, you can't keep everybody, bro. We got so much cornerbacks. We got so much in the secondary. Yes, I know. But we said that years before. And what happened? Them boys got tested. Cause one injury happens here. One injury happens there. Like right now. Rem remember, let me give you a quick example. Remember early, right? Before the, the, the preseason started Early on in training camp What did we say? Oh, man, we we got a lot of receivers It is going to be tough With all these receivers we got We got so much depth And what happened just in training camp alone? There are decisions That are looking like they're getting ready to be made Based off of injury Injury Injuries can pile up quick, man they can pile up so fast. And, hey, who knows if these some of the receivers that are out right now may have played if this was regular season. We don't know. But what we do know is that most of our receivers ain't even practicing right now. Why? Because we had a stacked receiver room, and all of a sudden, injury bug hit, and boom, out. Out, 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 out. So you see how that works? You see what I'm talking about now? You see it in real, in real time. We ain't got to go back to years past that with what happened with the cornerbacks. You see it in real time. So that's what I'm talking about with the secondary. So this is going to be regular season. And now we got 17 games. 17 games. Not 16 no more. 16 was already rough enough. But now we got 17 games. So, again, I know Ravens, they still got a lot of depth, even after this move. But I'm still not a fan of it. We out.